Most of us can't imagine ever wanting to kill someone. Unless you've ever been stuck behind a slow walker or listened to someone chew loudly. Why is it that Netflix has so many documentaries featuring serial killers from the 70s? According to crime data, there were about a dozen or so serial killers in the 60s, and that number skyrocketed to 200 in the 80s. Crime rates peaked between 1970 and the early 90s. It seems that the golden age of serial killers has come and gone. But why is that? At first glance, mullets appear to have been the issue. Of course, it could have just been easier at the time. DNA evidence didn't make its debut in the courts until 1986. It's become much harder to kill multiple people over a long period of time without police intervention. Law enforcement has also become much more organized. During the height of serial killing, data collection and record keeping improved, making it easier to find cases of serial murder. Law enforcement also developed more sophisticated methods of investigation, which enabled police to identify links between cases, especially across state lines. At the same time, the FBI began a profiling program, which enabled them to identify patterns to catch killers faster. It was easier to be a drifter in the past, to float through communities unnoticed. Today, it's nearly impossible not to leave some sort of digital footprint or paper trail. If people can't find anything about you on Google, major red flag. The stigma surrounding mental illness has also decreased over time. Growing up in the 50s or 60s was not a great time to exhibit any type of deviant behavior. In addition to having more support systems today, we also enjoy way more outlets for our hobbies. The internet is full of weird stuff, which might be comforting for would-be serial killers. The media also caused a frenzy of obsession with serial killers at the time, which offered the killers a morbid version of celebrity status. As raw numbers have declined, the media have paid less attention. Headlines always seem to mirror the anxieties of society. Sensational crimes that don't play into a larger narrative seem to fade away. So perhaps terrorists and mass shootings have replaced our serial killers. Don't let your guard down just yet, though. There may be as many as 50 active serial killers throughout the U.S. today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.